News. I'm Garland Vera. And I'm Ravi Ahuja. Welcome back to the rundown for the week of September 29th, 2023. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's beginning to smell a lot better here around Loyola. This could only be the work of our new staff member, Miss Dolores. Ellen Dart fills us in. Have you noticed the fresh smell when you walk down the halls? I sure have. And it's thanks to Miss Dolores, the new janitor who has been working tirelessly to ensure that Loyola is squeaky clean. So, Miss Dolores, you've been here a while. Yes. But we don't know, like, anything about you. So. All right. All right. Uh, I, I'm married. I have two kids. I have what, 10 grandchildren. And I have six great grand. And I retired from Bolger Parish School Board back in 2018. Then I came over here and started working part-time, three days a week. And now they hired me full-time, they want me full-time. So that's why y'all see me every day now. <laughs> I try to keep the school clean, you know, I'm running back. Y'all see me running back and forth, checking the bathroom, trying to make sure everything's clean for y'all. But, you know, when I first got diagnosed, you know, it hurt it for a little while. Yeah. For about, for about, about 20 minutes, and then God came to me and said, I got you. Everything was good. And then I've been, uh, my cousin, one of my cousins, he had pediatric cancer, and he sent me a strip, uh, scripture to read for healing. And I read those five scriptures every morning, seven days a week. And so I'm gonna continue working to my husband said, all right, it's time to retire. <laughs> And when he said, oh, okay, it's time to retire, I said, okay, and I'm 64 years old. And my birthday, April 15th, so don't y'all forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew taking care of Loyola was this much work? Thank you for joining me. I'm Ellen Dart. We are so glad to, to have your help. Why'd you just finish my sentence? Because Ainsley Matlock is about to see if the rest of our Loyola family can finish the lyric. What's up guys, so we're going to be playing Finish the Lyric this week. Today is day one and our first song is Heartless by Kanye. Uh, I think Kanye is a pretty popular guy, but let's see what everyone else thinks. Excuse me sir, can you finish the lyric? Uh, somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul to a woman so heartless. No. Travels far away from home. <laughs> Maddie Crawford. Maddie Crawford. Maddie Crawford. Maddie, please. Caroline Walls. Can you finish that lyric? In the night I hear talk. The cold story ever told. Somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul. To a woman, woman so heartless. Welcome back to day two of Finish the Lyric. Today our songs are The Show Goes On and You Belong With Me. So let's go. We're really about to be testing people to see if they're paying attention to the show or not. Can you finish the lyric? To the morning we dream so long Anybody ever wonder Made a city Sunday Remember when you come a show goes on Woo! Let's find someone. Come on. I do know it, but I couldn't really get it to function out of my brain. Being here all along, so why can't you see? Been here all this time, so why can't you see? Welcome to the last and final round of Finish That Lyric. Our final song for this challenge is I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. The one desire. <laughs> my one desire. Yes! My, my one desire. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Finish the Lyric. This is Angel Matlock signing off. Do you know who Angel Fam is having lunch with? I do. She's having lunch with the one and only Coach LeBlanc, and she's going to take us with her. Our principal, John LeBlanc, has been here for a long time, but how well do we know him? Come join us with Lunch with LeBlanc. 
Let's eat. How did you become a principal? I came as a teacher and a coach originally, and then then I, I got promoted to uh, assistant principal and an athletic director and head football coach and head baseball coach. I did that all at one time, and then... Um, and then uh, Mr. Israel decided to leave, so I decided to put my name in the hat. I waited to the very last day, last hour, to turn in my resume and my application because I didn't want anybody to know. That's that's kind of why I did it because you can't gri you can't gripe about something you're not willing to try to train and change for the better. So yes, sir. And I griped a little bit. So. <laughs> that's good that you made the change. Yeah. So what's your day in the life as a principal? What do you do when you? Uh, normally, uh, lo lots of lots of interaction with parents. I don't. Get, I wish I could get to the classrooms more often because I enjoy going to the classrooms and just watching. But I, when I go to the classrooms, I don't bring anything because I'd like to do informal observations. And I do, that's why you see me looking in classrooms through the window, <laughs> through the hallways, because I like to see what y'all are doing when when you don't know I'm looking. When I was in high school, I actually taught Sunday school. Really? For, for all four years, yeah. Then what's your favorite thing about working here? You guys, the kids, the okay. students, being with the students. Oh, that's good. I have, oh, who's your faculty best friend? Faculty best friend? If I don't say Miss Watts, <laughs> I'll get in trouble. She, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, probably because we get a like, even when she gets mad at me or I get mad at her, it, it doesn't last long. But, <laughs> yeah, because we're together most of the time. Yes, sir. But I would say her and then probably Coach Green because I've known him forever, too. I dated his sister in high school. Oh, my, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite hobby to do outside of school? Love to fish. Oh, fishing. Yeah. And I, the, the fall is my favorite. I don't fish. I, I do fish some in the fall, but... I love this time of year because I love college football and stuff like that, and high school football too. So. Well, you know, you know, somebody broke in and set the school on fire. What? My, what? Like my first Dude. year. This was, oh uh, I think it was '92. Um, <laughs> guy was a little disgruntled. He he got mad when they allowed girls in, and it the whole school smelled like smoke. And they had to redo all of it. So, what's your favorite dessert? A favorite dessert? I, I, I love creme brulee. Creme brulee. But I do like dark chocolate. So. <laughs> yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for staying tuned for Lunch with the Blanc. Our Flyer family loves and appreciates you. This has been Angel Fam. It is so interesting to see a glimpse into our principal's life. I agree. Now let's see if we can get a glimpse into our Flyer athletes' lives. Here's Bella Castillo with the sports report. Our fall athletics have been hard at work as their seasons are in full swing. Today we highlight volleyball and football. Our volleyball team had a hard-fought match against Parkway on Monday. They also played Ruston on Thursday. They will be back in action on Tuesday when they take on Calvary at home. We've had some pretty tough competition this season, but the girls have been coming to practice working hard every day and they've been improving every week. So we played Ruston on Thursday. It was a tough game, but I love traveling with my teammates and getting closer to them. And I can't wait to see how the rest of the season goes. Our football team pulled a great win last week against Red River, but now this is their week off. Let's hear about how they are spending it. This past game, we had a lot of guys step up to the plate uh, on defense, uh, a lot of fourth down stops. Um, we had Bryce Carpenter back, and it's been awesome to, to see him on the field. In our homecoming game last week, won 35 to 18. Uh, really needed that win. We're about to get a winning streak going on into the playoffs and get a good spot. We got a couple days off this week. Feels good. Getting back at it. Uh, this week we are off. We're practicing uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and we're going to do our install for next week. We can't wait to see how our athletics progress. Keep up the great work, Flyers. Thanks, Bella. We love seeing our athletes work hard. That's all for this week's rundown. See, See you next time, time Flyers! flyers.